The new trans C code notebook in Microsoft Fabric allows users to write, execute, and document T C code scripts within an interactive and collaborative environment. It integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Fabric data platform, supporting creating of Fabric warehouse while combining code, result, and rich text in a single interface. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use the new T SQL notebook to write four level common table expression CTEs. So let's get started. In my sample data set, I've got this SQL sales data warehouse that contains these three tables. I've got the orders and the order details and then the products. Now we want to create the new T SQL notebook. How to do that? I'm going to click on this new SQL, click on this drop down, and then we can see the option to launch that. In the Trans SQL Explorer, we can see we have no leak houses, but we have one warehouse with one item attached. So I'm going to click on this to expand and we can see the name of the warehouse. I'm going to expand again and we can see the schemas and the security so we can expand and then we have the default database owner so i'm going to expand and we can see the tables views function the stored procedure now we can expand the tables and then we have the three tables the orders orders details and the products now let's go to expand and see the columns so we can see the columns in the orders table we have the order id customer id the order date and in the orders details table we have the order id product id quantity and the unit price and then in the product table we have the product id and the product name now i'm going to come to this cell and get rid of this default comment and i want to paste this four or five comments so we're going to start off by calculating the total sales by product so this is going to be the first level cte and then for the second level we're going to have the sales by customer for the third level we're going to rank the sales by product and then for the fourth level we're going to rank the sales by customer and then we're going to bring all the columns and the aggregations together to give us the final result so let's get started i'm going to come here and start the code so i'm going to use the width keyword we want to start with the product sales cte and then we will use the ask keyword open the bracket press enter so we want to select and I'm going to press enter and we're going to indent the code to make it easier to read so i want to select the product id and product name so i'm going to type in product id comma the product name and then i'm going to put in the sum function now we want to multiply the quantity by the unit coming from this orders detail so for that i'm going to call the quantity column multiplied by unit price and we're going to alias this as total sales and i'm going to press enter use the back button and then we're going to fetch this from the order details so from press enter tab key and what we'll call the orders details table and i'm going to press enter use the back button and we want to use the inner join to join that with the product table so i'm going to use the join and press enter tab key and they want to call the product table here and at this point we're going to alias the two tables and then prefix the aliases in the respective column so i'm going to call this on p for the product and then i'm going to do od for the orders detail so i'm going to prefix this product id with p and then the product name will be prefixed with p and then for the quantity this is going to be the od dot and for the unit price, this is going to be all day because these are coming from this orders detail table. Now we can press enter and use the on keyword. So press the tab key. And then because we have the product ID and the product ID, so this is the foreign keys and then we have the primary key in this product table. So I'm going to do the OD dot product ID where it is equal to P dot product ID. And then we can use the group by clause. So press enter, tab key to make the code easier to read. So I'm going to group by the two columns. So I'm going to type in p dot product id and put in comma. And this is going to be p dot product name. And we can go on and verify this city whether it's working or not. So I'm going to come in and perform a simple select star from the product sales cte name so i'm going to press ctrl enter to run the code let's see 
amazing so this worked fine so we have the photo sales by product name and the product id cool now that's the first level cta now let's go to the second level cta so i'm going to get rid of this and put in a comma and i'm going to call this one customer sales and use the ask keyword open the brackets and then we will select this time around the customer id coming from this other table so i'm going to press the tab key and call it customer id comma press enter and then we're going to use the sum function so we want to take the quantity again quantity multiplied by the unit price and again i'm going to call this one as total sales again i'm going to press enter use the back button and this is going to come from the same orders details table press enter and then okay let me just indent this to make it align it properly and i'm going to come here press enter the back button and then we want to use the join keyword press enter the tab key and then we're going to join by the orders table so i'm going to call it orders orders table and i'm going to alias these tables i'm going to call this one o and i'm going to call this one the orders details od and i'm going to prefix this customer id which is coming from the orders table as o dot customer id and similarly we're going to use the od dot quantity and this is going to be od dot unit price and then i'm going to use the on keyword and press enter tab key now we can see we have the other id which is the primary key and then the other id which is the foreign key so for that i'm going to use the od dot order id where it is okay this order id where it is equal to o dot order id and then press enter we can use the group by clause so i'm going to group by so it's going to be group by press enter the tab key so i'm going to group by the customer id so i'm going to type in the o dot customer id and i can just get rid of the space and now let's quickly query this and see whether it's going to work or not so select star from customer sales cte which is this name here so press control enter and let's run the code so i'm going to scroll down amazing it worked so we have the total sales by customer id so we can see for now the best customer is this customer with the id number 86 cool so we are done with the second level cte now we want to go to the ranking of the products by sales and the customer by sales so i'm going to quickly copy this name and just add something in suffix so i'm going to scroll down a little bit make sure this is you know deleted and i will put in a comma press enter control v and i'm going to call this on product sales ranked so round again as open the bracket press enter so we want to select the columns press enter tab key and then we need the product id comma and then we need the product name comma and then we need the total sales that we use as the alias for our aggregation in this place so i'm going to just copy this total sales and then i'm going to come back here and i'm going to press enter paste and i'm going to put in a comma press enter and then we want to use the rank function so rank open the bracket and then we're going to use the over clause and insert open and close bracket we're going to order by the same total sales column and then we want to see from largest to smallest so we're going to use the descending order and then i'm going to call it some rank of um sales by product and then i'm going to just press enter backspace so this will come from the first city email which is the product sales so i'm going to copy this and then i can scroll down a little bit and i'm going to press tab key and then i can paste so let's quickly also group this and see what it's going to be delivering so group by so i'm going to group by these three columns so i'm going to come here quickly and press the tab key control v i'm going to get rid of this comma and i'm going to come here press enter and i can perform select star from which of the table i want to select star from this product sales ranked third level cte so control v control enter to run the code and let's scroll down and see amazing so our ranking is working absolutely cool so we can see we have the rank of sales we have the total sales and then the product name and then the product id wonderful now we're not done i'm going to quickly get rid of this 
and make sure this is also deleted it's not needed by the way it's going to be a good um, practice to alias this stuff this code so i'm going to call this on um, ps representing the product sales and i'm going to come here and do the same thing ps dot and i'm going to do ps dot again this is going to be ps dot and i'm going to also alias this as ps dot okay so now we want to go to the fourth level cte so this is going to be the customer sales ranked so i'm going to copy that scroll down a little bit make sure you put in a comma press enter control v add a suffix ranked so this is going to be customer sales ranked again ask keyword open in brackets press enter and then we need to select again we want to select the customer id and i'm going to put in a comma and then we want to call the total sales that is giving us the aggregation here so again i'm going to copy this total sales i'm going to scroll down and control v put in a comma and we want to use the rank function so let me just copy write this in capital letter so rank open the bracket and i'm going to use the over and then inside open up those brackets we want to order by the same total sales and then we're going to sort this from largest to smallest so in descending order again as now let me just copy this so rank of sales by product and make some modifications so i'm going to call this one rank of sales by customer so i'm going to type that here uh no, no, no this is not correct so customer okay so this looks good now i'm going to press enter backspace and then it's going to come from the customer sales so i'm going to type in customer sales um second level cte so type that in here and press enter oh let me just indent this to make it easier to read press the tab key and then i can use the group by so we want to group by the two columns here let me just copy this to make it easier and tab key tab key control v get rid of the comma i'm gonna come here i will put in another space and then we can perform select star from the customer sales ranked and i'm gonna come here and control v control enter to run the code and let's see the result amazing so we have the rank of sales by customer and then the total sales and then the customer id so in this case we have the id 485 as the best customer based on the total sales we generated so i want to get rid of this and make sure this is also deleted again it's a good practice to always add a an alias so i'm going to call this one um cs for customer sales i'm going to come here and do cs dot and then i want to come here and do cs dot and again i'm going to come here and do cs dot so it's a good practice to always alias now we are done with the four level cte so we started off by the product sales customer sales product sales round and then we have the customer sales round now i'm going to just put this here to align properly now we can perform the final calculation so i want to select or let me just move this here tab key so i want to select and press enter I need a product ID, comma, I need a product name, comma, I need a total sales that we use in the first level CTA. And I'm going to call this one as um, sales by product. And I'm going to put in a comma. And we also need this, um, the rank of sales by products, with, which is in this um, total level CTA. So I'm going to copy this and scroll down a little bit and i'm going to control v to paste and i'm going to alias this as um ranking of product sales okay that's going to be like the name of the column put in a comma and then we also want to grab the customer id so customer id i want to put in a comma and then i want to take the total sales coming from the customer id in the second level cte at the top and i'm going to put in a comma press enter and then I want to grab the rank of sales by um, customer so we are done we have used this so i want to copy this and i can paste here so press enter backspace and then this is going to be coming from now this is going to be coming from just two cities so it's going to be coming from the product sales ranked so i want to copy this and press enter tab key 
control V. I'm going to use the cross join to find the product between the product sales rank and the customer sales rank CTE. So cross join and I'm going to press enter, tab key, and then I want to call this customer sales rank and I'm going to paste um, here. And then again, I'm going to alias the columns that is as or that are associated with this product sales rank and the columns associated with the customer sales rank. So I'm going to call this one. I'm going to come here and do um, P S R for product sales rank, and I'm going to call this one C S R for customer sales rank. And I'm going to prefix the um, P S R here dot product ID. So this is going to be uh, P S R dot product name, and this is going to be PSR dot total sales and this is going to be PSR dot rank of sales by product and then let's move to the CSR so this is going to be CSR dot customer ID this is going to be CSR dot total sales and it's going to be CSR dot rank of sales by customer so we've been able to use the aliases in the columns that are associated with the two of them cool now we're almost done so we're going to use the order by so press enter tab key so we're going to start with the PSR dot so we're going to order by the rank of sales by product so I'm going to copy this and then I will come here, control V, and I want to put in a comma, press enter. So we want to add the CSR dot, the rank of sales by customer, control C to copy. I'm going to come here, control V to paste, and then we have the code. So you can see it's quite a long code, but it's actually easy to ease and to read. So I'm going to press control enter, and let's see if there's any error to debug. Oh, amazing, no error. So the command executed in just one second. And then we have the final result at the bottom. So we can say we have the product ID, the product name, we have the sales by product, and then we have the ranking of product sales, we have the customer ID, the total sales, and the rank of sales by customer. So our city is working despite the fact that it's quite long. Now it's actually easier to read, it's easier to debug once you indent the code, you format the code nicely, it becomes easy to construct. So this is how we can use the new trans SQL in Microsoft Fabric Notebook to author four level advanced CTEs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.